Okay, so the difference is um, tenants in common means that you are buying a, a percentage, um, a share of the house. So if you've got two people, um, it might be a 50-50 split, but it might not be. So if someone had perhaps put a bigger deposit in, then the, the percentage would, would be different. But um, ultimately, you would own your own share of the house in your sole name in theory. So if you die without making a will, then that share of the property would follow the law of intestacy. So the government basically decide where it's going. So if you've got children, it would go straight down to children. If you've got parents that are living and you don't have any children, sorry, and you've got parents that are living, it goes upwards, but it wouldn't go to your cohabiting partner if you're not married. Um, with joint tenants, with, with a joint tenancy, each person owns the whole house. So it's quite hard to get your head around this, but you own it very jointly. So in the event of one person dying, it would pass by survivorship. Even if you've made a will, the will gets ignored. So it's a joint asset. It would pass by survivorship, very similar to a joint bank account in that way. It just automatically passes to the other person. So that's the difference, really. It's just the legal ownership of property. Okay.